All right then, gang. So first of all, what is a breakpoint? Well, breakpoints are typically width values in pixels which represent the width of different devices or viewports which we might view the website on. And at these breakpoints, we typically rearrange the layout of our site content if we need to, to fit into that device width nicely. So for example, we might have a breakpoint for small screen sizes, which is gonna be roughly around 400 to 500 pixels. And this would target everyone viewing the website on a mobile phone, for example. So at this breakpoint, we might wanna say, okay, I'll rearrange the content this way or show and hide these elements, etc. We might also have a breakpoint around about 700 to 800 pixels for certain tablets. And we use that breakpoint to rearrange or show and hide content for those devices, etc. And it goes all the way up to large screens, okay? So Beautify comes with a predefined set of breakpoints and helper classes, which allow us to do certain things at those different breakpoints. For example, if we want to make things visible on a desktop, but not on a mobile, for that, we'd use one of Beautify's breakpoints and a visibility class, all right? So that's what we're gonna look at in this video. All right then, so the first thing I'd like to show you are the different breakpoints that Beautify comes baked with. So if you go to the search and just type in breakpoint, click on the top option, you're gonna see these different codes right here. XS for extra small, that's for mobiles. SM for small, things like tablets. Medium, MD for medium sized screens, things like laptops. LG for large, for desktops. And XL for 4K and ultra wides. So we have the pixel range right here as well for each of these different breakpoints. So for example, if we're targeting medium sized screens, we're targeting this breakpoint range between 960 and 1264 pixels, all right? So these are the different codes that we can use in our different classes. Now, what I'd like to do is look at visibility. So let me just type in visibility right here. So say for example, we wanna show something on desktops but not on mobiles then we'd use a visibility class and it follows this format. So if we want to hide something, we say hidden hyphen, then the breakpoint code, which we've just had a look at. So XS, SM, MD, etc. then hyphen, then the condition. So for example, if we only want to show something on extra small devices, we'd say hidden hyphen XS hyphen only. So then it's only going to be hidden on extra small devices. Okay. So then what we're gonna do is a couple of examples of these. I'm gonna go back to the code and you can see I have a blank homepage to work with. And the first thing I'm gonna do is a V hyphen button. And this is gonna say, click me. And I'm gonna apply a visibility class to this. So class is equal to hidden. And then the screen size is gonna be MD. Then the condition is gonna be and hyphen down. So what I'm saying is, okay, well hide this button on medium sized screens at that breakpoint and down. So for anything less than this, so small screens and extra small screens as well. So this and down thing that I've done is one of the conditions. We have these three conditions only and down and and up. So let's now save this and preview it in a browser. And we can see at the minute it's hidden. If I refresh, then it's still hidden. I think this is because I'm zoomed in. So if I reset that, okay, now we can see on large screens, we see this button. If I inspect now and reduce the size of the screen, what I'm gonna do is just scoot this along. When it gets to a medium sized screen, it's gonna disappear because we've said hidden at medium sized screens and down. And all the way down now to small screens, it's not gonna show until it gets to a large screen again, okay? So that's the first one. Let me comment this out. Control forward slash to do that. And then underneath, I'll do another one, V hyphen BTN. And this time it's gonna have a class equal to hidden. And then this time it's gonna be MD and up. So not and down this time, it's gonna be and up. Again, let's say click me. So this time I don't want to show this for medium sized screens, large and extra large but I do want to show it on anything less than medium. All right, it's only hidden on medium and up. So if I save this now, we can see all of these screen sizes, it's hidden. When we get down to a small screen size, boom, it appears all the way down to extra small as well. Okay, 
So that is hidden, MD and up. All right, let's do one more example. So comment that out and down below, we'll say V hyphen BTN. And again, we'll say click me. And this time this is gonna be hidden on small screens only. So class is equal to hidden dash SM dash only. So we're saying here, small screens only. Not extra small mobiles, just small, which is things like tablets. So if we save that and preview this again, we can see when we get to a small screen, it disappears. But if we go down to an extra small screen, it reappears. So only for this period in between extra small and medium, for small screens, it disappears. So that is only being hidden for this breakpoint range, okay? So there we go, my friends, that is visibility. And they are the different breakpoints that Beautify employs inside our projects.